So yeah, this isn't my new setup. For some reason, I wanted to sit in my closet. <laughs> I recently just moved my hair products in here. So I have my hair product shelf and I just didn't feel like sitting in my bathroom to record today. This is a very impromptu video. I felt like I wanted to say something and here goes. Hi, it's Amanda and welcome to my channel. One of the things I will continue to find difficult with my venture into YouTube is that yes, okay, I'm educated, but I'm a complete idiot, or shall I say ignorant. Politics, geography, pop culture, and current events. So per usual, I was completely in the dark when all this stuff with Mayel popped up. It was just by complete chance that I happened to enter my Mayel products into my dual wash day series a couple of weeks ago. So my ignorance is why I didn't voice an opinion on everything that was going on. And I'm actually sort of glad I didn't know because I feel like it would have colored my review. I like the products, but if I had known what was going on at the time I was reviewing them, it'd be kind of like a situation where you have like a really hot guy, but he's real stupid and ignorant and rude. It makes them less attractive by design. And I wanted to give an honest review of the products themselves. <laughs> it did, however, explain how I got more than 19 views the first day I uploaded my video. So I'm not mad at that. Let me just preface this by saying I have only watched one review on this topic, Charade Del Sol, and I will link her video in the description box below. So I have only a high level understanding of what happened because I also didn't take notes when I was watching the video. So I don't remember everything she said. I am also purposely not watching any other videos because for one thing, there are like 20 new videos on this topic and I don't really have the time. And second, I don't necessarily want other people's reactions to color what I say. If I give misinformation, I'm sorry, I'm human, that's fine. You can correct me in the comments below. So I'm a little annoyed. I'm here in my ignorant bubble, going through life, making my videos, and all of a sudden I'm promoting a product while the owners are off there doing foolishness. While this video might do me some good, uploading a video on a topic that's actually trending right now, I'm not looking to jump in the ring against a multi-million dollar company, but I figure I just wanna offer my two cents. But on a high level, from what I understand, a YouTuber, Linda Lin, reviewed Mayel's new rice water line. And as is her right, she didn't like it. But also, as is her duty, she was honest about it and her review revealed that she didn't like the line. And it is also worth mentioning that she has provided positive reviews on other Mayel collections in the past. And who'd have thought those didn't provoke any attention from the owners? I believe the founder and CEO of Mayel is Michelle Rodriguez. You know what, let me check. Monique Rodriguez. Miss Mayel <laughs> jumped into the comments and explained to Linda Lynn that she was using the products incorrectly, essentially saying that whatever bad results she got were her own fault and not the fault of the products themselves. It's just sort of confusing. I mean, this company has existed for a very, very long time. It has great products and it also has products that are not so great. And I can't imagine this is the first time that someone has not liked her products. I wasn't aware of Linda Lynn before Sheree's video. She was not a big YouTuber. I hear she might have had around 10,000 subscribers at the time that she posted the review. Now I believe she has around 50,000. So I guess thank you to Monique. But anyway, what was the motivation for going after a small YouTuber for a large multi-million dollar company who sponsors, pays, sends free product to all of these large YouTubers who, whether honest or not, praise these products. I've been doing wash day product reviews for the last four or five months or so on a weekly basis. So I completely understand where Linda Lynn may have been coming from. You have a routine and you follow that routine. The only thing changes is the products. You shampoo like you shampoo, you deep condition like you deep condition, you style like you style, yeah, there might be some considerations like one shampoo might require you to leave it on for eight minutes and then rinse it out. And another one might ask you to repeat twice. And a styler's instructions might request that you style on wet hair. Okay, that's the kind of thing that it's fine to take into consideration. And maybe you styled on wet hair when you should have styled on dry and that's why you had bad results. But from what I understand, that is not the situation here. But Monique was saying that she just used the products wrong. She was explaining why, but also she did it in a very passive aggressive 
in what sounded like very insulting way, but Sheree awesomely took some screenshots. So she shared exactly what the exchange was in her video. So take a look at that. Again, it's in the description box. Regardless, the products didn't work for her hair. Is that not allowed anymore? You move on, you don't reuse the collection, and next time Mayel came out with a line, she would probably go through and review it, and she might love it and give them a rave review. But for some reason, this would not suffice for the owners. I think it was a few days later, maybe a couple of weeks, Mr. Mayel, who must have snatched her personal details from an order form, contacted Linda Lynn on her private phone number, pretty much to set her straight. I don't know the details of said conversation, but do I need to? First of all, <laughs> legality of doing such a thing. Second of all, that's a plain threat. I can't imagine that he called and thanked her for the review and, you know, pretty much did anything other than issue a threat or try to set her straight or defend his wife or defend their company or whatever it was that he did. They're not friends, so why is he calling her? Is the CEO of a multi-million dollar company really using her husband to go after customers that don't like her products? And not even her products, but a product collection when she has like, I mean, I don't know, I don't really follow my L, but she has more, she has multiple, she has multiple. She's in CVS, she's in Walgreens, she's in Sally, she, she's in retailers. She is a big deal in the natural hair community. So even if she doesn't have a specific PR team or marketing team or something on her side, what is she doing? This whole situation was very passive aggressive and then actively aggressive, and I can't support that. As the stresses of life and more so quarantine life drive me closer to the brink, I find myself less and less capable of dealing with other people's asininities. Let's just call it that. I don't even need all of the details. Plain and simple, the company, as in the CEO, founder, husband of the CEO, founder, who also works at the company, went after a customer for a not so favorable review. That, I mean, honestly, was not going to affect their bottom line. So I will no longer purchase Mayel products, which is actually a pretty easy decision for me because I was 99% going in the direction of just having black owned business products. But if Mayel ended up coming out with another line in the next month or so that everyone was raving about, I'd go try it because I like buying products. And I have some space on the shelf. I feel like at this point with social media providing a platform for small businesses to promote their products, the natural hair product industry is completely saturated. As in there is a ton of competition and there's no need to waste time on people that don't deserve it. You might love Mayel products, but you can love other products too. But if one company is just like rude and a bully, just go to another company. I was just editing this video and then remembered something that I was planning on recording in the next few weeks. I was still in the process of doing my research and pulling my materials, but I think I'm just going to instead just put in my piece here. When I received my Mayel products, I was a little bit surprised about the marketing that they provided with their product. I have natural hair. Mayel, I believe, is a natural hair brand and even if they're not they do cater to natural hair i know in some of their products they specify that it's for type 4 or type i mean whatever type hair you have but like kinky natural textures i have linked the postcard that i'm referring to because i took a picture of it but why is this brand that is marketing to natural hair sending a postcard with their natural hair products with someone that's either wearing a wig or using heat on their natural hair which is definitely dangerous for your hair with just long, flowy, what looks like relaxed hair. You're either a natural hair brand that wants to promote natural hair and healthy hair and all of that, or you're not. Not much more on that. It's just, I wanted to bring that up because it was something that I found very interesting. That is not natural hair. And even if it is natural hair, that is hair fried within an inch of its life. It's possible they were very responsible. They used heat protectant. They otherwise take very good care of their hair but that is pressed hair where we are trying to promote our natural kinky textures that grow out of our heads organically. Now back to the video. So let's just keep this simple. As I said, this was an unplanned video, so I actually don't really have much more to say. I'm done with my L. <laughs> that was dumb. If you like this video, 
please consider watching some of the others. I have linked some of them in the card for you to take a look at. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I post wash day videos on Wednesdays and just like hair related videos on Mondays. I am trying very hard to keep up with that schedule. And so far, magically, I've been able to. I hope you're all well, staying safe. And I will have two videos queued up for you in the next page if you'd like to check those out. Have a good one.